an honor to be here in chat. Thank you for having us here. And to be at CrossFit and to Ben and to Alzheimer's for really highlighting a problem in our community that affects over 6 million people nationally. And if you look at the caretakers that have to take care of these people, it's over 60 million, I believe. Uh, 16. 16. 16 billion. 16 billion. So it really um, something that has affected my family with my dad. Now another loved one that has the same thing. So Ben, what you've done for your, for your mom, for your grandma, and to really get involved in this organization since 2014, to give back, to give your time, especially as a young person, really says everything about what you have and love about our citizens. And I don't like to say ordinary citizens, because you're not. You do extraordinary things in the community. But you're not looking for the pats on the back. You're not looking for the recognition. You're doing it because you believe in the cause and doing it to help other people that you went through this, we could get them through it and try to make a difference and bring awareness and let people know what's going on. So it's really an honor to give you this citizen of the month and say thank you for everything that you're doing. But I do, I, I have some, I don't want to forget everything. He's currently, currently a member of the board of directors and the chair of the longest day, previously ser served as director of finances and the operations. And uh, the longest day is coming up Yep, because there's that. You want to talk about that? Again? Yeah. So it's a campaign that Alzheimer's Association has to uh, honor the persons with the disease and especially their caregiver, caregivers. Um, it's on the summer solstice, which is the longest day of the year, and it's just um, a tribute and honor uh, to bring awareness to the journey it takes uh, to, to go through the disease for all families involved, for all the parties involved. And it's, uh, it's something that I've really embraced over the years. Just like you said, my mother was my grandmother's caregiver for many years, and uh, it just means a lot to me and my family. But I, I also want to recognize for the long stays and the fifteen hundred dollars. He also serves as, a, as an advocate, speaking to New York State legislators about the importance of the support of these families affected by this disease. Along with his work with the association, he also participates in the association's signature event, the uh, Walk to End Alzheimer's. So, with all that being said. That's the other reason why we're doing this today here. But, uh, that. Thank you, County Executive McCoy, for this honor for Ben. Um, ben is no stranger to the commitment to the Alzheimer's Association. He walked through our door a few years ago and said, I would like to do something to honor my grandmother who has Alzheimer's disease, and completed a triathlon, is that right? In her honor. Um, and, and raised far more than he's raised for this event. So he's been raising money. He's been advocating on behalf of families affected by this disease. He has served our association well in both the capacity of Director of Finance and Operation and as a board member. And I'm just brimming with pride for him. And I'm pleased that you uh, have made this honor available to him so that we could again raise awareness about the importance of this disease. We've, uh challenge their older members to uh, uh, you know, take up the, uh, the charge for um, this bingo card and they have prizes and raffles and it you know, culminates this Saturday with um, uh, a party of some, you know, some sorts and everyone here has really uh, embraced it and it means a lot and uh, one thing I always like to bring up is that uh, a physically active lifestyle is one of the few proven ways to reduce the risk of cognitive decline. Um, you know, there's so much out there um, being worked on, on science and research. Um, this is one, one of the few things that you can do that proactively reduces that risk. So I think it's a big thing for everyone to know. And it's, uh, it's nice to see Chad and the team here really embrace that. He says, whereas Ben is an outstanding citizen and inspiration to others, and we thank him for his outstanding efforts, now therefore I do hereby proclaim that the residents of Albany County honor Ben Gianetti Albany County Citizens Month and signed by our County Executive, our good friend Daniel Foy, on June 19, 2018. Congratulations. I do want to say congratulations. Do you want to say uh, it's, you know, Again, this means a lot to me and my family. Um, we've gone through a lot with this disease, and the Alzheimer's Association has been here from every step of the way. And um, I hope you know this small honor, which I do share with the team here, and all the volunteers, and advocates, and board members. Um, can maybe light a fire on some other citizens to really step up because it's going to take a lot of effort to find the first um, survivor of this disease because there's 